Natural yellow, orange, and orange brown sapphires owe their color centers and trace elements. Similar colorations can be achieved in synthetic corundums, as well as by an additional anneal procedure. With colorless or pale yellow natural corundums, comparable hues can be obtained by irradiation or by annealing. Both types of treatment, irradiation or annealing, generate color centers, which cause a continuous increase of light absorption from orange to the blue end of the visible spectrum. And they also produce a broad absorption band at approximately 21,500 centimeters. 465 nanometers. These treated natural corundums appear in intense yellow to orange brown colors. While the color centers artificially induced by radiation are extremely unstable, the color centers created by annealing do not heal out on further heating up to 1000 degrees. For using jewelry, annealed stones can thus be considered color stable. With regard to absorption, the radiated or heated corundums differ little from naturally colored light yellow sapphires from Sri Lanka. Uh -huh. Apart from the generally strong absorption in the violet and ultraviolet regions, on the contrary, intensely yellow to yellow brown sapphires exhibit a pronounced iron or iron chromium spectrum, and synthetic yellow to orange corundums show a nickel or nickel chromium spectrum. The inclusions of annealed golden yellow sapphires present the same um, modified um, characteristics as those encountered in heated corundums of the other hues. In practical gemology, the problem of identifying irradiated as well as synthetic yellow and orange brown corundums has repeatedly been a matter of discussion. Golden yellow corundums or uh, one side with the well-known natural and synthetic yellow and brown sapphires on the other side. Uh, these new stones have been on the gem market for some time, occasionally offered by the dealers as corundums of treated yellow to orange brown color. Colorations similar to these treated ones are shown by untreated natural yellow corundums, known to originate from Sri Lanka, Thailand, Tanzania, and Australia. The golden yellow colors also are comparable to those of artificially irradiated yellow to orange brown sapphires, as well as the two coloration of synthetic yellow to orange brown corundums by vernier produced by the addition of nickel or nickel plus chromium the colors of the later can be intensified by the additional heat treatment natural pale yellow corundums are colored by color centers and so far are known to the authors who originate only from sri lanka in the visible region the absorption continuously rises from orange to violet without showing any pronounced absorption maximum. Frequently, weak ferrum absorption bands can be observed, which, however, have no distinct effect on the color due to the low ferrum contents of about 0.005 to 0.11%. The chromium contents of these yellow corundums are too low to clearly influence the color. Sapphires contain higher proportions of chromium and ferrum and showing the absorption spectrum of light yellow corundums from Sri Lanka caused by color centers are colored pink orange and cold parparachas. Heat treatment at 500 Celsius heals out the color centers of the described yellow and pink orange stones. Specimens without chromium are practically colorless. Those with chromium show the typical red to pale rubies. Accordingly to trade views, untreated natural yellow and orange sapphire are color stable. Another type of yellow sapphire comes from Thailand and Australia. Stones from these sources show iron contents between 0.5 and 0.75%. Ferrum, which thus lie distinctly above those of the light yellow corundums from Sri Lanka, the cause for the coloration of these intensely yellow corundums is the combination of ferrum and to a less extent uh, titanium. Here, chromium traces virtually are not color efficient. Since the variants of the ferrum and titanium cannot be changed on heating up to 500 Celsius and high temperatures, the color of such specimens is stable under the combination mentioned. Corundums from Umba, Tanzania present uh, definite amounts of chromium in addition to the comparable uh, ferrum percentages. Specimens with small amounts of chromium are yellow. Crystals with high chromium um, concentrations are yellow-orange to orange-brown in color. As yet, sapphires of this type have been uh, noted only from Umba, Tanzania. Uh, heating up to 500 Celsius does not alter the described colors. Synthetic sapphires 
sapphires exhibit similar hues to this of natural sapphires, although the latter mostly have other causes of coloration. The yellow colors of vernil synthetics are produced by nitrogen, while orange hues are brought um, about by chromium and Nickel. by the addition of uh, divalent magnium, ferrum, and calcium, and by subsequent annealing, the colors of the commercially grown synthetic stones can be intensified according to the information on hand. It has been known for quite some time that X and Y rays produce bright yellow and yellow orange hues, with originally pale yellow of almost colorless sapphires from Sri Lanka. The improved colors, however, became unstable when exposed to daylight. Similarly, after short term heat, Heating of 500 Celsius, the color centers created by radiation can be healed out too. The heated stones originally turned completely colorless, therefore the finding came as a surprise that the color of the new type of treated sapphire, which is indistinguishable from the irradiated one in terms of color, remains stable on heating of 500 Celsius and even up to 1000 Celsius. And radiation could thus the notable the cause of the strong yellow or orange coloration. The examination of the inclusions of some rough and cut stones, which in part stemmed directly from the corundum cookery in Thailand, produced the following results. Clouds of tiny inclusions mostly concentrated in certain zones and of uh, turbid appearance under the microscope. Small oval um, reflective tension fissures showing a more or less or wide, wide um, um, resemble atolls. Frequently, they contain a tiny mineral grain which might have caused the fissure during the heat treatment. Spherical white aggregates of a spiky surface occasionally surrounded by a healed tension fissure, largely healing cracks, feathers, with drops shaped to tube-like cavities. Altered uh, fiber-like zonal structures with oriented inclusions, rutile uh, hollow tubes. The inclusions of these golden yellow corundums thus exhibited the characteristics of the types of inclusions found in annealed nat natural um, corundum.